Marshallese is a Micronesian language spoken in the Pacific, in, you guessed it, the Marshall Islands. The language and its culture are deserving of its own video, but I'm going to focus on the most debatable part of the language, the vowels. But actually, they're these vowels. But actually, in an infamous 2000 paper by Mark Hale, they're these vowels. Now, this doesn't mean you should just replace all phonemes in your language or conlang with emojis. That's dumb dumb. It's only funny when Hale does it because Marshallese vowels are messy. And at the time, nobody could agree what they were. It's sort of like T in English. In your brain, all these sounds are T's. But when you speak English, top is aspirated, meaning has a puff of air at the end. Stop doesn't have that puff of air. Butter has a tap. And kitten has a complete stop of airflow. In other languages, these are distinct sounds. But in English, there are different versions of the T that show up in certain contexts. It's like that for Marshallese vowels, except a little more complicated. There are 12 different surface realizations, not just four. Mm, that's how it comes out of your mouth. But there's either three or four phonemes. That's the bit in your head. So, whose vowels are competing? Three, two, one, go! First, we got Bender, who's like e, 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 e. Then, we got the Marshallese English Dictionary, who's all like e, 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 a. John D. Choi is all like uh, uh. And long story short, linguists mostly agreed on the allophones, but didn't really agree on the phonemes. <laughs> Giga Chad Galaxy Brain Hale enters the chat. I mean, come on. Looks like the man's got a snake on his research gate photo. Hale straight up joined the VC unannounced, interrupted everyone with this quote. In order to keep this clear in the mind of the reader, I will use arbitrary non-IPA symbols for each of the Marshallese underlying vowels. The high advanced tongue root vowel will be indicated by hot beverage. The high retracted tongue root vowel by rotary phone. The low advanced tongue root vowel by yin yang. And the low retracted tongue root vowel by soccer ball. Then, he doesn't even bother to use IPA phonemes for the entire rest of the paper. He just leaves the chat without explanation. 22 years later, nobody actually uses these emojis, especially since Heather Wilson Sturman replaced the emojis with actual linguistics terminology in 2002. But the fact that they're in a legit published linguistics paper is fun. The fact that Hale casually dunked on a 30-year vowel debate using emojis and hardcore memory is worth applause. 